Welcome to Bits of Blender, and I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. And we're going to talk about vertex groups. All right, so we're just going to use our default cube here, and I'm going to hit the one on the keypad so that I'm looking at it from the front. I don't know why; it doesn't really matter <laughs> since it's a cube, but I just like doing that. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to add some vertices. So I hit B. So get that bounding box to select these, left click and drag around them, hit E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude. So now I have a bunch of vertices. Well, what do I do? I can, in order to create groups, we've got our vertex groups down here. And I'm showing you these very basic. Now, when you uh, work with bones and things like that, uh, sometimes the commands will allow you to automatically create vertex groups. But the bottom line is they're just vertex groups, just like vertex groups, just like what we're making here, that you can modify, add, delete, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a couple of groups. I'm going to select these. I'm going to say new, and this. Let's just give this name group one. But the important thing is I need to. I created the group but I actually haven't added any vertexes to it. And that's something that would get you. Richard's nodding his head. And click Assign. <laughs> so now I assign those to the group. The cool thing is, now I can deselect those. I could select them. Deselect them, select them. Or, if I, if I accidentally, here, let's, let's, do, uh, let's do this. Let's select these guys. And we'll create a new group. I'm just going to call this group 2. I'm going to assign those. And then I'll deselect them. And I'll select. That deselect. is, that's helpful. And then uh, we will select group 1. And if I want to, I could come down here. While group 1 is selected, I could select group 2. So I got both of those selected at the same time now, which is pretty cool. Or I could say, gosh, group 1, deselect those. Now, here's the thing. Oh, wow, look. I had those vertices that shared were in both group one and group two. So they deselected those. If you if you want, if you ever want to go through and say, okay, here, here's group two, select group two. Uh, and I really don't want these in group two, maybe. Let me just deselect all and just select these and say, I got group two selected. Click remove. All right, so they are removed from that vertex group. So you didn't see anything change on your screen, but trust me. So let me deselect all by hitting the A key with the mouse over this window. I've got group two selected. I'm going to say select. Now, just those vertices are part of that group. And if I go back to group one, well, here's the thing. Well, let's go ahead and select those. So now I, the vertices that are in group one are selected. And that's handy if, if you want to, uh, also if you want to like select those things to work on them or to hide those things, which I just typed H and then Alt H to bring them back. You might want to, just in case he's telling uh, how to select them, just in case they don't know. Select what? Like the vertices. Oh, to select the, the vertices? Yeah, uh, I hit the B key and I've got these crosshairs and then I left click and drag. That's one way that I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another way is to right click and hold the shift key down to get a whole bunch. And another one isn't like BB. BB, yes, very good memory there. BB gives us, allows us to paint. So now we can say just left click and paint the uh, vertices that we want selected. And I'll hit escape when I'm done. Type A to deselect all. Thanks, mm -hmm. Richard. And we'll see you next time.